There are 95,000 distinct keys in OSM and about 150 million distinct tags. And uh, the question is, how do we find our way around them? And um, of course, uh, you all know the answer. Um, it's tag info. I assume that everybody in here has seen tag info and used tag info. Who has not used tag info? Never seen it. One person. OK. So go to that web page and try it out. Um, and um, uh, so tag info uh, was created by me, I don't know, 16 years ago or something. It has been around for a long time now. And um, it uh, is now, uh, ha has been for a while, part of the um, openstreetmap.org uh, website. So it's hosted by the OSMF, but it's still maintained by me. And um, it, uh, its job is to collect data about tags. It's not deciding anything. So one, one of the questions that comes up quite often is, or people are, send me email or something and say, tag info is doing something wrong. It says that tag, tag X is for this and that, and um, I should change that. And I don't change that. That's not my job. I only collect the data from other places. Um, and um, so that's basically the tag info uh, architecture is I collect pl uh, information about OSM tags and keys from all these different places and aggregate them and my, my, uh, uh, make them available and findable in this one place. So it's more like a search engine, uh, you know, in a way I'm, I'm trying to give you access to uh, as much information about tags as I, as I can. Um, so of course I get data from the OSM database, which has all the tags and I count how many tags there are and all these kind of things. Uh, from the OSM wiki, I get descriptions. Um, what the tags uh, are supposed to mean. I get uh, data about the different language codes, ISO language codes, all that. Um, from Wikidata, I get information. Uh, OSM chronology, what it says here, I'm, I'm calling, I'm, uh, there's still the OSM database, but it's sort of the history data. I'm, 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 and uh, from other projects too, uh, I'll talk about that later a bit more. Um, so how tag info works is once a day there's a job running, it will collect data from all these sources, download lots of um, web pages, um, download or update a new planned file, then do a lot of data crunching and get all the data about the tags out and put it into um, several SQLite databases. So if you're not familiar with that, SQLite database is, is an SQL database in one file. So you have one file that has all the data in it and you can use SQL to access that. And it's very easy to copy that file around and, and, and work with that. Um, so um, that, that's why it's in those SQL dat databases. That then uh, um, I have a web server also that then reads those databases and, and, um, and gives you the data. And you can download those databases from the Tag Info website um, so if you want to do some specialized processing, um, you can use the pre-processed data that I generate and um, do something with that. Um, so this architecture has some problems and, and some uh, good sides. So on the, on the, on the pro side, it's very robust. If something breaks, um, I just restart the whole project and it will download the data and create the databases and all that. So there's, if, if something breaks, I, I don't keep a lot of that is a little bit of data that's kept between one and the next run, but most of it is recreated every time. So it's very robust to run this thing. And there's very few resources. I don't need to run a database that runs 24 hours a day. There's just these few files lying around. Uh, it is very fast to query those things because it all has been pre-processed um, in this nightly pre-processing step. But it also means I um, have some limited query options. I don't have a complete, uh, complete database of all the OSM data. It's all pre-aggregated. I already counted how many tags there are of this type and that type and all that. Um, there's no way to say, give me uh, all the 25,000 nodes that have this one tag. Um, that information isn't there anymore. So, and you have sort of metadata, but not, um, not a lot of the actual OSM data in, that, um, in those SQLite files anymore. And which also means it makes uh, um, geographic queries impossible. So there's no way to say, uh, with our current ar architecture, to say, um, I want to only uh, know about um, all uh, the highway tags in Belgium or something. You can't those. Um, there is something that works around that. Um, for a while now, um, Geofabric um, uh, has been running a tag in, for instance, also. They changed the tag in for code. Um, and um, made it 
so that it works with several extracts. And uh, everybody knows Geof Geofabric for their extracts. And so for every extract that you can download from Geofabric, they also run a daily tag info run. So now, now you can get um, the statistics on highway tags just in Belgium and on all this. And it, it allows switching between different countries and it uh, also allows comparing between different um, the implementation behind it, lots of bash script, lots of Ruby scripts. Um, it's used the Natra web framework, which is really, really old, has been old, has been uh, around for a long time. It's not changing anymore, uh, which is really great because I don't have the time to work uh, on this a lot. Um, I'm averaging about maybe sort of everything together, maybe three weeks per year um, that I spent on this. So maybe a week here and then a few weekends here or there uh, and all that. So it's important for me. I can't install the newest NPM whatever framework or uh, Angular or something. And every time I work on, it would have changed completely uh, uh, below me. So um, I'm using mostly just plain JavaScript to, to create this page and um, have something that's really stable and, and, and maintainable that way. Uh, what a lot of you probably don't know, even if you have used TagInfo before, there's uh, uh, keyboard shortcuts for lots of things which can uh, be um, quite uh, nice sometimes. Um, I, I want to go through a few scenarios um, or a few things that you can do with tag intro, and, and uh, I hope there's, um, uh, even though most of you will have used tag intro before, um, that you will learn some new things. So um, most, most of the time you start with a search um, in the search box on the upper right. Um, I, um, unless you're uh, in Arabic, then it's, I think, on the upper left. Um, and um, you, you can type in something there, and if it's a if it's a tag, if it's a key that is in the database reasonably often, um, it will do an autocomplete. So if you type hi equals p in this case, it will find um, so it does a su substring thing on there or a prefix search, so it finds highway path and highway primary in this case and show them to you. And if if you then uh, go down and, and click on one of those things or go down to the cursor keys. Uh, on one of those suggestions, you will directly jump. You will directly jump to that page. Um, if you uh, press return at that point, you'll get um, to the um, search results uh, page where there, there's more search results there. So if you're using for uh, searching for a tag that's not very often, or you want to use a substring search, you can still do that. Um, as I said, there's lots of keyboard commands. If you type s. Um, then it will highlight the search box. So it's easy to, if you go on the web page, just type S and start typing your search and, um, and off you go. So the search result, there's several different ways it will show if you, in this case, you search for highway path, then you'll get that one list here of, of search results for substring searches. So you'll find abandoned highway and, and disused highway in path and, and all these things. And in, in, in text search, if you don't have an equal sign in your um, in your query, it will only uh, search for keys and um, uh, and so on. And there, there's a, as a, if you click on the help link, you get some more information about the different ways of doing search. And you have to you have to try it out a few times until there, there's a few ways of doing that. And it can be confusing, but I haven't figured out a better way of doing that. So play around with it. Um, how to do this search? There's also a, a different way of doing search. So um, once you have found, for instance, here the highway page, so, so I'm on the page for the highway key, um, and there's uh, on the second tab, there's a, the, the values tab, you, can, you see a list of all the values that this key has, um, and then um, there's a filter, uh, filter box. Um, and most uh, tables um, in Tag Info have this filter box, and you can type something in and we'll do a full string uh, filter thing on, um, on everything in there, so you can find the path and the footpath and the path colon scramble, whatever that is. Um, again, there's a keyboard shortcut for that to activate that filter box. Um, all the tables that you see, you can navigate um, with those buttons. You can navigate with cursor keys and up and down keys. You can even nowadays use the mouse wheel or the, the, the uh, scroll pad thing here on, on your laptop. Um, Behind that, all these tables is an API. So um, there is an API, normal REST JSON API um, that uh, creates all the, the data, and you, you can also query that. There's documentation uh, uh, how to how to uh, how these um, these work, and you can click 
uh, on this JSON button that every table has, and it will show you exactly that it will do the, that request in, a, in another browser tab. And so you see the URL that created that request, and, and you see the raw data that's behind the table, and you can, so you can easily use that and then just take that and, and put it in a script and do something more, more interesting with it. Different use case, you've got, we're going through a hike, we're interested in hiking routes, uh, so we find out there's a route equals hiking uh, tag, so we're looking for that. There's a little image that comes from the wiki, um, there's a description that comes from the wiki. Um, so I, I get a lot of information from the different wiki pages in the different languages, and you can see the details on the, on the wiki tab here. Um, you can also look at the tag combination, so you can see which other tags are um, can, uh, are used together with root equals hiking. Um, so in this case, for instance, there's uh, the type equals root tag, um, and 95% of the uh, of the um, of the objects that have root hiking also have type root, which means yeah, type root is basically the higher level tag that uh, all of them have. While on the other side, on the right side, you see the the the, the count the other way around. Only 20% of the of things that are tagged type root are type uh, uh, have the tag uh, root equals hiking. So you, you get some sense if you look at these numbers uh, how these tags relate and um, and all that. So for instance, for these tags, um, network uh, LWN, which uh, means local something network or so, um, ninety percent of that um, of uh, objects that have this network tag also have the route, route hiking tag, so it's a tag that's very specific to hiking routes, uh, like the OSMC symbol is also very um, specific to, to hiking routes. And you can also look at the chronology, so you see uh, the tag usage over time from going back to 2008 um, to now, and you can see sort of more and more hiking routes being mapped. And uh, in this case, there's this very strange uh, blip in there, um, for some reason, something happened. Um, I don't know what happened, I didn't look into detail here, um, but if you, uh, if you use the filter, um, which is on the upper right, on, on many pages have that filter, you can switch there between no filter, or only nodes, only ways, only relations, and if you use nodes in this case, you see that this blip is in nodes, and nodes are never uh, tagged as, as, as route hi hiking normally, um, so there was some kind of error where somebody um, added 60,000 nodes with this, and um, a month later, somebody um, figured that out and removed all of them. Um, so this gives you even uh, more insight into things. If, if you're not only, probably not only interested in the into hiking route, maybe you're interested in the, into uh, cycling routes. Um, there's, of course, a route bicycle, and uh, you see the chronology here. Um, but now you want to want to know whether there's more hiking routes or more cycling routes or you're interested in comparing them. Um, you can use the comparison list feature um, for you, you go onto each of the page, pages or tags or keys that you're interested in, um, say add it to a comparison list or you can just push the plus button and it will add it to the comparison list and then you, you push the C button or use that menu to actually see the comparison list and that will show you um, next to each other the different uh, tags or keys and some sort of summarized information about them and you can see, okay, um, they're, they're both in use as uh, about double the amount of hiking roads uh, in this case than, than bicycles and, and all that. Um, very uh, similar recent addition um, is the OSM tag history button on the upper right there. If you click that, you get uh, go to an external service um, that I added which um, also uh, shows this chronology um, but um, uh, it can can do it for several um, tags, which tag info itself can't do. So you can see in the beginning uh, there was more of bicycle routes, and um, uh, at some point in 2014 the hiking routes over overtook the uh, the cycling routes. Um, if you are interested in where something is in the world, it gets a bit more complicated. As I said, I, I'm not storing geographic information really. I saw it a little bit, which you can see in a, in a moment. Uh, say you're interested in protected areas, so, so like nature reserves, nat nat uh, nature parks, something like that. There's a boundary protected area um, a tag for that. And um, uh, I looked in, into that recently and looked at the combination, okay, I wanted to make a map of na uh, natural uh, uh, nature parks and, and all that. And 
was looking at the tags, figuring out what, what I have to put on the map. And I found this tag, ref, C page, something. And uh, it looks to be very specific. Nearly 100% of the stuff tagged with that ref is, is, is these protected areas. So I wanted to know what that is. Um, and uh, so you click through it. Um, it gives you the information here. Okay, unique code um, for something Australia. Okay, so that information comes from the wiki. Let's check that. I'm going on the, on the map tab and I see, okay, all of these are in Australia. Um, so this is something Australia specific. If I want to know more, I can click through the wiki page and all these kind of things. If I want to see them on the map, actually, I can do that in tag info. I have only this very rough um, information here um, because I don't, just don't have the space to store uh, millions and millions of tags and their, their locations. Um, but there's on the upper right again, uh, on this toolbar, there's a, several uh, external tools and one of them is overpass. And I click on this overpass turbo um, and then I can di uh, generate directly a query to overpass turbo to, to uh, tell me give me back all, all these uh, things that have that uh, tag. And um, yeah, here, so in the area of Sydney, this is, this is what came, came back in that case. Um, we sometimes have uh, problems with an international product. People can write uh, in many different languages and an issue came up here on the tag info issue tracker um, so that um, the city of, in Bulgaria, there's a city called Rus or Rusi, I don't know how to uh, pronounce that. And in uh, Cyrillic, uh, um, letters, this is how you spell that. Um, and uh, But part of them were written with Cyrillic letters uh, and part of them were written with Latin letters. So this is not Pais, it is Rusi or something. Um, uh, but the, the Russian letter for R and the um, Latin letter for P look the same. Uh, so I added, um, I added this um, tab with uh, characters um, that tells you exactly sort of this is a Cyrillic le le uh, letter and if you look at the other tag it tells you it looks the same but in, in, internally it's a, uh, it looks at the Unicode code and knows it's a Latin letter. Um, say you have your caravan, you're looking for a place for the night and you, you need a map uh, of caravan camping places or something, um, you can go to the projects tab and uh, see what maps or other projects are using the caravans tag um, and do something with it. And um, I'll, I'll find here that on that one, I mean, there's lots of user, a dozen presets and all that, but there's also the, the um, open camping map that's interesting. Uh, some information about the camping map has a link to the camping map and all that. A list of all the tags. Again, I can uh, filter in that table and there's several tags, caravans, no, and yes, and static caravans, yes, and tourism caravan site that this particular map interprets. And uh, then I can click through to the map and, 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 I, and, I, and I can see those. So th they are creating map from uh, lots of different tags and they are publi publishing this information uh, to tag info and through the project site, you can find that. So what, what the Camping Mac does and what you can do with all your projects also is you create a simple um, JSON file. It looks a bit like here, this is from Camping Map, which says, okay, this is my project and um, this is the text I'm using. Uh, and then a tag info as one of the things that tag info uh, sources, it gets this information in and, and, and can, um, can show it to other people. And so this is also a very re recent addition. To the sources are very important for tag info, where I get all the data from. And I want to expose this more to the users, uh, to, to you. And so there's a new sources uh, menu uh, point now up there, and it has more information about the different sources in, in the, the, the data that I get from here, for instance, from the wiki. And uh, it also gives some sort of debug views, for instance, for the image sizes. There's some image sizes um, which are really tall, and that's it's always difficult to show on, on, on pages or the, in some of the, uh, uh, pa um, the, the images in the wiki to document some tag are really huge and take a long time to load, and um, you can find about that, for instance, here. And I want to uh, expand on that uh, further uh, to get more sources in there and, and um, to help also pe people, especially the wiki editors, um, to um, improve their data. So you can contribute um, to um, tag info. You can add translations. Um, you can add your project, as I just explained. Um, also, just contribute to the OSM wiki. All the stuff that you put in there will in show up in tag info. 
Um, and you can also, t uh, of course, contribute to the tag info code. Um, and here again is the website and the wiki page that has more information about sort of how tag info work, how translations can be done and all that. Thank you. Thank you, Jochen. Any question from the public? So, Hi. Um, you mentioned that the visualization on the map would take a lot of resources if it was done like in a more precise fashion. Uh, would using vector tiles or something like that um, help? Um, no, it wouldn't. It wouldn't in that case. Um, that you used to have to store the vector tiles. You have to store the data somewhere. Um, and the the, I mean, it is something that of course we can do, and it could be done. Um, but then it means just that the server needs more resources um, and you need more time to create them and recreate them every day probably uh, and all that and that, that, that just needs more hardware and more time to, um, uh, to, um, to maintain all of that and uh, there's a question, sort of a trade-off and if I had more time, um, I would definitely try to do something like that um, and maybe somebody else wants to do that, great. Um, uh, so. At the moment, the great thing about that is if I'm developing, I just download the database files, the SQLite files generated by the server, install it on my laptop, and it's all fast and it's easy to use and it just, it just works. I don't have to install another database and a vector tile server and this and that and all that. Um, that's just sort of a decision that I made at some point to use that architecture and limit the stuff that I can do. Um, and uh, yeah, somebody else could, could have done it differently and, and yeah, it certainly could be done. It's, there's no magic about it and yeah. Any other question? Then I have a question. Who has, uh, who has generated a project file for Tag Info already for his project? You know, there are several people there, so that's, that's good. So, all the other people in here, if you have a mapping project, if it's a router or map style or something, um, you can talk to these people and, uh, and they can tell you that it's very easy to do and, uh, and uh, you can provide that and it gives at least a little bit of insight into all the different projects that are out there. It's not perfect, uh, I know, and there's come question again and again, sort of, how, how we can improve this project file to, to have even more information, more structured information about how tags are used or not used and this and that. Um, but it's just, um, this is what we have now and it's not perfect, but it is something. And uh, we have about uh, nearly 200 projects now which are in there and we could use a lot more. I know there's a lot more project, projects out there. This is the one in the back. Hi. Um, yeah, I'm one of those people who have been spending two years in this website finding the right tags for our project. Um, and today I figure out that we forgot some other tags also. So it's very hard to find all the tags. For instance, we're, find, we're trying to find tags um, for a cafe. So you think, okay, you type in cafe. And then uh, somebody tells, oh, but there's also a tag, it's called bar, and then there's also a tag called pub. So it could be interesting for new projects to have kind of teams where you have like, if you click or kind of relations, let's say you, 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 you have like tag cafe, and maybe there's also, I don't know if it's already there, but that it can also show you, okay, there's also some similar tags, like, can also use bar or, or or pub or you know these kind of things. Yeah. Uh, so um, there was an effort at some point um, to add to the wiki um, specialized um, things in the wiki so that you can say similar tags here or um, also also see this one and and all that. And uh, but that never caught and and um, and Tag Info can uh, read those and will show them. 
but um, it never caught on really. And it's, it's really hard to do and keep up and document all of that. But um, in theory and in practice, you, you can do that and tag info will find them. It's not really obvious how to see that in tag info because they are, there's a bit of a hen and egg problem. If nobody does that, then nobody uses them. And then I don't know how to, to show it in tag info. Um, so maybe some effort like that to push that again to, um, to add some of that to the wiki. Um, or, or use what's already there and expand on that. Also, you can misuse the projects um, feature. If you make a list of everything that's cafe, bar, pub related, um, that's a list of tags and you can publish that a tag info uh, projects file and then send me the link or make a pull request, send me a link and then it will be in there and then somebody could find it through there. Um, and um, if, if a lot of people would do that, that would give us sort of a start, and then maybe we can find out a better way of integrating that into tag info and all that. So I'm I'm always looking sort of what 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 people are doing with tags, how they are documenting them, and and where I can find more information and integrate that into tag info. And as I mentioned, there's limited time, but but I'm I'm trying to figure out new ways of of, of uh, aggregating this information. But if the information is not there, if no human has collected that, it's, it's really difficult to do. There is a full text search um, uh, on tag info that finds full text, go, go through the full text of the wiki pages, but that's nearly useless um, because you either f find too much or not the right, wrong thing. And, and yeah, it is, it is a difficult problem. Any other question? So very small one. Uh, any chance uh, or any plans to integrate a large language model to uh, to discover tags? I don't know if you played around with uh, ChatGPT, but it, sometimes it dreams up tags. But maybe you can edit a large language model to only offer tags that are also really in tag info. So that would be an interesting project, I think. This not my area of expertise. So um, I don't have any plans to do anything like that. Um, my time is limited as it is, um, but if somebody wants to play around with that, and uh, as I said, there's an API and you can download the stuff, so it's pretty easy to write something that's sort of on the side of tag info and try something out, and then maybe I can just have a link to it from tag info, like like the um, history uh, graph uh, page I showed, or like overpass, um, or then later on if it it turns out it's useful and it should be integrated more. We can talk about that. But those things are really stuff that people should try out on, on for themselves and yeah. uh, and see what's Makes possible. Sense. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Really interesting talk. I There's another question. Um, one, two, three. I thought that question was interesting because, uh, uh, yeah, bar and cafe can be synonyms. But that depends on where you're living. Yeah, it's very and, country and, specific, and it's very very complicated. Yeah, and and uh, I think everybody would like to have that kind of uh, information in a machine readable form. Uh, it's just an awful lot of work. Yeah. Thank you. So I'm checking the online platform. So. Uh, we have received one question uh, from our online attendee. Um, I'll read it as it is. A uh, cafe example uh, can be described in a semantic database like OSM data items, wiki data. Um, it, uh, I, I integrated a little bit of wiki data and looked at that, and um, that the stuff that they are doing is not enough yet um, to make anything useful for us at the moment. I mean, you could model all of this in a semantic database. You can do that, but I don't see the the, the benefit um, for me at, at, at the moment. Um, there are certainly people who have tried stuff like that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Somebody should try that and do do that. Okay, we are out of time. So thank you very much, Jochen. Thank you.